News conference in downtown Atlanta showed just what kind of day it was in Georgia. In the span of three minutes, Governor Kemp had to pivot from the death toll of the deadly storms to the topic that's dominated our conversations for more than a month. Yep, the COVID-19 pandemic. There are now more than 13,600 cases in the state. 480 people have died. There is a silver lining if you look for it. Check out this new graphic from the Georgia Department of Public Health. You can see on the far right side how the most recent movement is not as sharp as the previous weeks. Some experts are hopeful our curve is flattening and charts like this are an encouraging sign. Today, Governor Brian Kemp gave an update on the response to the crisis, beginning with when does he think he might start lifting restrictions and reopen the state for business? Here's John Sherrick with the top three headlines you may have missed from today's briefing. One today we have to stay focused on the mission at hand. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp says he'll think about lifting stay at home restrictions and other restrictions only after Georgia gets past the peak of hospital cases projected now to be on April 26th. Right now, he says he's focused on being ready for the peak, expanding hospital capacity to meet high demand and stopping the alarming surge of cases in nursing homes and other long term care facilities. Two, As our testing numbers in Georgia continue to lag. The governor has a word to describe Georgia still trailing most other states in coronavirus testing. It's unacceptable. So he said the state is now expanding who can get tested. From now on, for example, people who don't even show symptoms can get tested if they've been exposed to people who are infected. But Kemp said Georgia still does not have enough tests for everyone who wants a test. Three, no one should let up now, he says. Not yet. I, I will tell you, we are seeing some good signs. It's just time to hunker down, make sure we can get to the peak, flatten things out, and then start going the other way. Start going the other way, the top priority, when the numbers of infections and deaths in Georgia are decreasing every day.